The next generation science standards represent the scientific principles and engineering practices that all students should know before graduating high school. Still, there will always be a high achieving group of middle and high school students who decide to pursue advanced level science courses earlier and at a more rapid pace. The accelerated model course pathways were developed to help provide additional learning opportunities to students who want or need to deepen their science education in a compressed time frame. For many students, it will take a total of six courses to meet all of the middle school and high school performance expectations outlined in the Next Generation Science Standards. This video offers guidance as schools and districts consider how to reorganize those performance expectations into fewer courses. The primary accelerated pathway recommendations focus on three accelerated model course maps. The five-year model condenses performance expectations into five years rather than six. Under this model, high-achieving students begin taking NGSS coursework during the sixth grade and end in the tenth grade. The four-year model condenses performance expectations into four years rather than six. Under this model, performance expectations would also begin during sixth grade, but end in the ninth grade. Finally, the high school schedule model affects only the high school performance expectations. The acceleration in this model varies based on the scheduling options available for high school NGSS courses. It's important to remember the five-year, four-year, and high school model course maps are only examples of accelerated pathways. They are not offered as finished products. Further, it is essential to understand the seven key assumptions that were involved in creating the model course maps. For more details on each key assumption, please read the full Accelerated Model Course Pathways document. As the second key assumption in the previous chart notes, the design of the Accelerated Model Course Maps was built on the model course sequences found in Appendix K of the NGSS. As highlighted in the conceptual progressions model seen here, the placement of each standard was both purposeful and logical. As this chart helps to illustrate, the performance expectations are logically sequenced and build on the skills and knowledge covered in earlier courses. This is true across both the five-year and four-year course models. In the five-year model seen here, performance expectations were organized based on the conceptual progressions of the disciplinary core ideas. This is also true for the four-year model. As local educators consider how to organize and compress these performance expectations, they should be careful not to omit any. For example, the performance expectation HS LS13 was moved from high school course two in the conceptual progression model to course three in the five-year model. In the four-year model, HS LS13 was moved to course four even though course two from the conceptual progression model does not exist in the four-year model, the PEs from that course were not omitted, but rearranged in the five-year and four-year models depending on its connection to other PEs. As a reminder, creating the NGSS accelerated model course maps was a first step in the process of creating accelerated pathways. For many districts, these models alone may provide sufficient guidance. However, in addition to the accelerated model course maps, there are also considerations to be made for advanced level science courses, specifically AP science courses. The content in the Next Generation Science Standards was compared to the content in the course guides for AP Biology, AP Chemistry, and AP Physics 1 and 2. As a result of this process, Comparison charts were created to show connections between the NGSS and these AP courses. The comparison charts, including this example, were designed to help reduce instructional redundancy and improve overall efficiency of the accelerated pathways. Using this information, educators can begin to strategically consider connections between courses when designing curricula for foundational NGSS and AP science courses.
Because the accelerated model course pathways are intended for students that want to pursue advanced courses at a rapid pace, the pathways will be unique and require different components for each school and district. Creating these pathways requires collaboration between different stakeholders. It is important that the right people are brought into the conversation to ensure the accelerated pathways are aligned to the next generation science standards in their entirety. For additional information about these opportunities, please read the full Accelerated Model Course Pathways document.